And we're on to Hive 2. Just put Queen back in after clipping her in there last week. Swarming. So we gotta get in there. Let's see if there's any more swarm cells. Got some prop was gone. A good sign. Super's got some weight to it. Excluder it looks fairly clean. Looks <laughs> like there's a few drones trapped in the Honey super chewing them up, bring them down in pieces. Lots of bees in here. Wind can't make its mind up. Going everywhere. Hi, Beetle. Just flew away just to come back later. It's a capped honey in here. Get ready for them cold days. Some more dark nectar in here. Maybe not. Just the black foundation, I guess. 
this. Queen cup here. Let's see in there. Lots of drones in this hive. Hopefully we won't be needing them anymore. The last of my queens came out already. She might have made it by now. Still just pulling a nectar. I think we uh, successfully stopped the swarm. Looks like they're starting to backfill. Don't know why they swarm. They still had a lot of, a lot of room they could have worked. Swarm cup down here, but no egg in it. But so they're still kind of making plans just in case. No definite. Yeah, we got some real fresh larvae. A couple eggs in there. Some of these eggs. Not land very good side of the walls hmm. there's the queen Got the wrong side for the light. She's still in there. You don't really see too much indication of a swarm anymore. They are full production on these frames. And there's some more dark nectar. Clean cup, nothing in it. slowing down on brood. There's all sorts of different stages on this frame. A couple patches look like they're just getting ready to come out. A couple patches look like they just got capped over a few days ago. And we got some down here that just hatched into larva. A couple fresh eggs in here. I 
think that week off threw the queen's laying pattern off a little bit. She's sticking them on the side of the walls. Some of them are in the center of the cell. But it looks like she's just kind of dropping them in there now. Almost like to try to save her to get her through another season next year. Lots of young bees on this brood where the drone come. Looks like they're done with the drone frames. Start to fill them all full of nectar. Always want to keep these drone combs on the outside because come winter time, they tend to migrate into the center. You need those small cells in order to be able to make more workers. This honey frame back in. We're not going to bother going lower. No queens there. Everybody looks good. Starting to organize it a little better in here.
sun does a good job warm on the top of these frames up. This wax just peels right off. Comb. Wax name is be wax. Wax honey comb. Bees like to go for a ride. Just be careful you don't pinch them in there. And they don't get mad at you. thing about the queen excluder is they kind of propolize last ring around there and come winter time well, when it gets colder out and you set the bees up to make it through winter it's got that nice ring of propolis so you can seal that lid right down to you just don't scrape it off beforehand Now I'm up a little bit.
I'm drawing out a whole lot of new foam now. I think we might be able to pass that stage. Frames look like they could get ready to harvest here. No one didn't like me. Dream mostly what it smells like. Solid nectar, getting ready to cap this one. Another nice frame they're getting ready to cap over. I think uh, these two on the end, I think I extracted once. They just filled them back up. They didn't even bother making a new comb on any of the other ones. And just reuse what they got. If you get it.
Looks good. Okay. 